pencils down. What? Fuck it. What? We're okay. We're pencils okay. down in it. We're just okay. We're like that. We are unafraid to come out and just we make the we make the tough decisions, right? We go after the right. We we, we ask the tough the, we, questions. Is that what we do? Yeah, the we tough ask questions? the tough questions. We make the tough choices. Okay, and that's what we've done. And pencils down. And pencils down. You weren't even. Were you even close to ready? No, I was. I was just deep. Di- I was unfriending people on Facebook. See, <laughs> and we were. Just, <laughs> and then you cu- you you interrupted that. How many do you unfriend a week now? It's getting bad, right? What I used to do. I used to you. I just. I used to unfollow. Yeah. Sure. So I'd still remain friends with them. Right. Just wouldn't see any of their. Bullshit, but I wouldn't see their right? bullshit yep. posts. Yep. Yep. And then it got to the point where I'm like, well, I asked myself, why am I doing that? Because I don't even, most of the time, I don't even know who this person is yeah. that I'm unfriending. It's not like like a relative right. or a friend of mine or an acquaintance. It's just some sure. random name. I'm like, I don't even know how we became friends on Facebook. So why do I give a fuck if we're still friends? Exactly. So now I'm just like, go. And now I'll look at their thing. I'm like, comedian. And I'll see comedian. Then I'll see some other state that they live in. I'm like, and then it's some MAGA you. shit. And you're like, I'm out. Fuck I don't this know you. Fuck them. I don't care if we're friends. I probably met you maybe at a comedy club at some point somewhere. And we're, it was just like a natural, like, oh, I had you on Facebook. Uh, and like, then, oh, all right. And then I'm just like, no, nah, I'll just unfriend you. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. Dude, I'm with you. I'm with you. If I want to be angry, I'll go to Twitter. If I'm looking to feel rage at the world, I'll go to Twitter. Facebook should be friends and family. Yes. Like a little, like a, almost like a little community where like I'll go there and I'll be like, oh, this is all p- cute pictures or something. <clears throat> right. Oh, Marvel movie news, Star Wars geeky stuff. A funny nerd meme. Something like that. But now it's If just... I want to be angry, I'll go to Twitter. Facebook, yep. I, I want it. It's not a safe space. I just want a, an enjoyable space. I'm with you. I, I just agree. want a place where I can go, where I can see friends and family. Right. Where everybody knows my name. <laughs> Cody Thoughts. No, I totally agree with that. So how many people have you unfriended d- during these days on Facebook? Oh, it's I been- think I've unfollowed a lot of people on Twitter recently. That's a, It's tough, yeah. too. Even there, I can't take it. I'm like, all right, fuck I think, this I, shit. And Jerry, this might be like unique to you and I, but, right? but like growing up in Texas, oh, yeah. we probably have a lot of family or extended family who is on the wrong side of things. Yep. And, it's, and you have to kind of like... Like kind of like scroll through right. the side of your family that is like on the, on the wrong side of history. Yeah. Yes, family gets yes. Fr- family gets an unfollow now. I know, but people I, know. I don't know they get the unfriend. But it's like, but it's a Texas thing where like, oh, I, I mean, I mean, I'm, I have the same shit. I know. Yeah, I mean, like I'm from Texas, but I'm but like half of my family is Hispanic and half is white. And that white family is really fucking pushing their boundaries. Boy, they go crazy. <laughs> it's like Jesus, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. It's fucking. Oh, it's. It was funny, but like Andrea just found uh, an old friend from high school, added her on Facebook. She's yeah. like, oh, how are they doing? She clicked, you know, we'll be friends. First post MAGA, great weekend <laughs> here in Lake Havasu. Make America great again. Fuck COVID. Okay, bye bye. It was just instant. <laughs> All right, never mind. Not friends anymore. It just sucks that politics has gotten into fucking everything. 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 Oh, but I like mean, I, like, I make sure. I, I, but it's I, also good because now you know who the dipshits are. Yeah, I know, but it's just sad because it's it's just further dividing us into two different countries. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's just it's not repairable. No, it's irreparable. No, when this dipshit's gone, th- these problems. It's not. Are still that's the, be yeah. There. It's not going away once he's gone. No, if he's gone in no. November or in four years, he's. It's not. It'll still be nice. This, pro- that this day country is. has deep, deep issues that are not going to be resolved anytime soon. No, it'll still be great to get rid of him though. I just want to get rid of him, yeah, because he's a narcissist and he needs. He's also I just an awful see, president. I just want to see people like that get their shit packed. Yeah, up. that's and, it. And he's also an awful president. He's an awful president. He's not good at politics what he's doing. aside, whatever. Yeah. But I, it's just when people like, like I've known people like him in high school and college yeah. and in and in the entertainment business. It's the people that think they're the greatest at everything they do. Oh fucking! And I twat. just want to see those people fucking lose. Yep, it's fun. It's not poli- It has nothing to do with politics. For me, it does both. Well, it does for me mixture. too, but I'm, that's why I'm saying, like, whether he's gone in November or in four years, shit's still going to be the same. We're not healing this country in November, but I just want to see that asshole get his shit packed in because he's a fucking dick. <laughs> oh, he's the worst. But I do think it won't be healed. But I think those steps will be starting to be taken in the right direction. You got to get Maybe. rid of that guy. You can't have no a fucking racist lump of shit as the president. That does it. That that help. That does not help men things. That's what stokes those fucking flames. But then we're doing. I know. I just. I just know when things go one way, we sort of 
try to overcorrect the other way. Right. And overcorrection is also a mistake. Like, you can't go and just sort of scrub everything from the past and, like, it didn't happen. Like, I understand tearing down the statues of... Oh, we got to do that. And renaming that shit. I get that. We got to do that. Those, but if they're in museums and shit, they belong in museums. Because like it statues? Is, it is part of history. Right. <laughs> Like Wait, there's you, no Confederate statues at museums. No, if you go to like, if you go to like like where I grew up in, uh, in Virginia, there's the Manassas yeah. Battlefield. Right, right. And there's a, so it's a battlefield where the Battle of Manassas was fought, and there's a giant statue of Stonewall Jackson on that battlefield. Right. And to me, that's perfectly fine to have that statue there because he fought on that field. What if you just put his stats though, like all of his losses? <laughs> Wouldn't that be better? Everyone knows he lost because it tells you right on the plaque how he died. Right. His own men fucking shot they him. They shot him in the dead of night, those morons, oh. that moron. But there's also Union soldier statues right. there, too. Did it's, he get killed in Manassas? Was that where he died? No, he didn't die no. there. He That's... didn't die there. He fought at that. He... Right. But I'm just saying, like, if it's a historical thing, I totally get that. It's Put him in public places, I know. Because right. you shouldn't honor these assholes in public places. Right. If it's museum or if it's history, I get that. Right. And you're not honoring them by having the statue there, but you, it's if you have other statues, I get it. But... I don't think we can completely overcorrect. See, I still think you get rid of the statue and just replace it with like a dumb painting of him. <laughs> Done by like a 12 year old? Right. And he's just making the goofiest like cross Maybe like a clay face. statue yeah. made by a kindergartner. Like, and he's making a dumb face. Yeah. Right. And then he's, I think that would be better. And he has a hat that says loser. <laughs> you know? I like, mean, I've been getting like, I've, I've been on like. Well, I'm because a, my school was named Stonewall Jackson, my elementary school. I do the whole I grew up on it. Lee's Corner Road. Right. And there was a giant painting General of the guy. Lee. There's a giant yeah. paint. There was a giant painting of Stonewall Jackson yeah. by the printer. I was like, this guy never came to Texas. Who gives a fuck? I don't understand that. I don't understand why you're getting. These. Why is there a painting? Like, he was a great man. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. I don't get why there's statues of Confederate soldiers put in places where they never were. Never were. or And they lost. They, you don't why, why you don't put statues up well, when after they the lose. Revolutionary War. We tore down all the statues of the fucking king and shit. Are the British guys, we got rid of them. They fucking lost. Get rid of the uh, fucking statues. I know. I saw just, a, I saw a great meme today. Let me find it. There just was like, like someone put know. up a meme that said, uh, uh, la- "The Confederacy lasted five years. No world championships. Never won a Royal Rumble. Never main event at WrestleMania. <laughs> John Cena, eighteen year career, sixteen time world champion, <laughs> won the Royal Rumble twice. Has main evented five WrestleManias." This means John Cena is a bigger part of American history than Confederacy. Uh, he is. So we should have a more John Cena statues everywhere and get. Why not? I take that. <laughs> that guy's never. He's never been busted saying the N word while fucking somebody's wife, no. like Hogan. Ugh. Like, give me, give me, see, fuck yeah. Can put Cena up there. Yeah. Who's gonna fucking? And then like, <laughs> and then the fun part is, if any of these racist dipshits want to protest that, he could just go fuck him up. Right. There's none of those guys are taking Cena in a fist fight. No. No. Like, that's over. He's giving FUs to everybody. 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 Attitude adjustment. He can pick up that 400-pound dude. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. He did it to fucking the big show. He if did. he can F you the big show, he, he can F you Mark any. Henry. He could do it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, man. There we there. Where were we at? Fucking eight minutes. We're eight going. Minutes. We're going. We're just fucking going? We're okay. getting political, and now we're we just doing political. it. We did political. Is that okay on the ramble? Yes. Rambles? Yes. And if you know the words, sing along. All right. Oh. Oh. Shush. Many guys have come to you with a line that wasn't true and you passed them by. Now you're in the center ring and the lines don't mean a thing. Why don't you let me try? Now I don't wear a diamond ring. I don't even know a song to sing. All I know is la 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 means I what? love you. There we go. Nice. Bam. Nice. Some Delphonics Philly sold for you, Sweet. baby. Kicking off the ramble number two. 40. Wow, dude. How about that? Remember we just were at 200? 200 and they thought that's it. We can't believe they made it this far. And we've and gone 40 past 40 that. past it. Now, do we have... I have bad news for Cody. Do we need to do a Schumacher memorial here coming oh, up? God, oh. guys, come on, no. I know. Cody, Sorry. he died, man. I know. Yeah, but he made... I mean, you know, the worst of the Batman he movies. He did make the worst of the Batman movies. But he... 
But, but he gave us the Lost Boys. He gave us the Lost Boys. He made Tigerland's pretty good too. Tigerland's gave us some right. good '80s movies. He gave us some good ones. Falling Down's a good movie. Falling Down's a good movie. So I think we have to do I'm Joel. Sh- I'm sorry. Okay. Oh God. Ramble two forty one. We're gonna have to do some Schumacher wow. things, don't you think? We're thirteen episodes past what should have been the Marley <laughs> Coast tribute. I know. Guys, it better not be too late when you guys finally come Look, around buddy, on this. Know, Just man. people have to stop dying. That's the problem. I know. That's the so, issue. Wait, do we do all Schumacher? Like Hat, OCE, and Ooh. Top Five? That's a little much. Should we do be, top that five that movies? Too much Schumacher. Top five movies? <laughs> Maybe top five movies. All right. Well, next ramble. Top five Schumacher movies. Yeah. You know what? You know a Schumacher movie that's going to make my list that I think is missing from a lot of people. Uh oh. Phone booth. Which one was that one? Phone booth. The, with Colin Farrell. Oh, my God. I never saw that one. I know what you're Dude, talking about. Dude, you haven't about. seen Phone Booth? I've never seen Phone Booth. Oh, it's fucking great. That's just where the phone booth is ringing, and he goes and just answers it. Right. Yeah, and, like, Kiefer Sutherland is on the other line, and, and basically, like, there's, a there's like, a sniper pointed at the phone booth, and he can't do anything. Yeah. It, like he can't move or he'll be I'll shot. See, is this available on demand or anywhere? Is this on streaming? I'm gonna. I'll look right now. I'll go watch that motherfucker before I. Dude, do this. it's fucking. I. It's really good. Cause right now it's Lost Boys number one. <laughs> yeah. Falling down. I don't know. I gotta see again. Shit. I what was look. the uh, What was that one where the courtroom drama won about? Uh, what was the uh, The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean? <laughs> yes, that was. <laughs> that was <laughs> it. You You'll have to pay for phone booth. It looks like son two, of a bit, but I can rent two, it right. Two ninety nine. Oh, that's nothing. I'll I, I might I'll I'll do that. I, I love phone. It's Colin Farrell at his. I mean, I love I love Colin Farrell, but yeah, yeah. man. Is it? Uh, do we? Do we? Did Joel Elmo's Schumacher fire? do the firm? Yeah, he did Samuel's fire. But da, 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 man in motion. What was the courtroom one he did? Fuck. Let me see. Wasn't it Batman later career? Eight millimeter, flawless, gossip, Tigerland, Bat Company, phone. Booth. It had to do with racism in the South. Tw- oh, the with with the uh, what's his nuts? Um, he did the client. The client. That was the one with the uh, 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 what's his fucking uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, but was that him? I think, yeah. yeah, the client. Yeah. That's it. He did Flatliners. Holy shit! Maybe he, maybe we do a full ten. Hat. Do we do twenty? We, we do could a, do everything. Do we for do him. a hat and then. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's just do the five. Let's make it hard. Let's do the five. The mock. But you you guys have to watch Phone Booth if you haven't seen it. All right, I'm going to. Do we call this? Do we call the next week's top five mock speed for Ooh, him? Okay. Do we call him? Do we call it that? Mock mock five mock five mock five the mock five the mock five the Joel Schumacher, the Joel Schumacher. Schumacher mock five <laughs> ramble at the ramblepod dot com and your mock five. Look at this. Is that the title so far? We're thirteen episodes past what should have been the Marla Gibbs. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, you guys can't do. I, it'll crush my soul. <laughs> But, Cody, it works. It works, and we can't not do it if it works. Oh, guys. <laughs> Poor Sorry. Marla. She'll have her day. I'm No, I'm worried about that. <laughs> right, day. don't say that. Don't Cody's say sad it. now. Oh, my God. Now, we, now, he, now we're jinxing her. Oh. So ramble at theramblepod.com. Hi, love. You can follow us on Twitter at Podcast Ramble One on Instagram at Podcast Ramble. We have our merch on our T Public store. Go buy that. Give us a five star rating and a positive text. Oh, I'm still gotta, stuck at 110. That figures. Come on. I gotta get the. Uh, I gotta get another another color at because uh, we have our R logo up on the T Public site. Yes. And I had some requests to make it not pink. Oh, okay. Because somebody wanted to order an R uh, logo mask that wasn't pink. But I guess apparently when you order the masks, you can't change the background color. Well, that's not right. Like with the T-shirts, you can just you pick can do whatever, whatever the color fuck you want. You want. That's yeah. why we do a pink one up there because like, hey, whatever. Right. But for the mask, it has to be whatever the background is. What the frick? So I got to go in the T Public and change it. Jesus Christ, that's rough. So whoever wants one out there, I'm going to change it tonight. All right. Or it'll be changed by the time you hear this. By the time you hear this podcast, it's going to be ready to rock, ready to roll, ready to strut, ready to stroll. How's that? That's good. Huh? I like it. That's good, right? Fuck yeah. We're feeling (laughs) that. Everybody knows what time it is now. It's ramble time. Mm, We're here. mm, We're rocking mm, and rolling. mm. This is us. So I, uh, <laughs> before I, I was, I've been on like a lot of, uh, you know, me being a Redskin fan, I'm on a lot of yeah. Redskin message boards. Sure. And there's a lot of uh, pushback against the name change. I wonder why. <laughs> Wait, you mean people in Virginia are upset that a racist people all around the change? globe are upset? <laughs> Time out. Virginians. Oh, are I was shocked it happened so quickly. 
Why was it this name changed 20 was, fucking years it ago? It was... I mean, it's been a conversation for at least the last 30 years. Well, I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt you. Yeah. But since we're on, what's more racist? I want your vote. I want Cody's vote. Okay. The name Washington Redskins yeah. or... Oh, 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 oh. The, the, what's, the, the Seminoles chop? What is worse? They're both really fucking bad. I, I, I have a very... I have a defined opinion on this. Oh, or how about when Bobby Heenan went, "Hey, how are you?" you hey, hey how oh, are you? that was pretty bad. <laughs> that? that was really. It bad. has to be the name. It, ha- it has. You to go be the, the name. name over the chant. I, I. It has to be. I mean, like Redskins. That's it's horribly bad. racist. It's bad. It is bad. Eddie yeah. will defend this to his dying day. <laughs> We've gotten I'm into not the, when it. we first met. We were at the, well shortly after we first met at the John. We were at the John Lovitz Comedy Club. Remember that place? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were, and you were, you were like, uh, he was pulling the. Uh, I said, over my dead body, <laughs> will they ever change? <laughs> he was, he was doing the all lives matter shit. <laughs> he was, he was. Well, no, what you were, you were. Look, you were doing the. Uh, you know, they got permission from several Native Americans. They Amer- do have some permission from some Native Americans. Some guy that Snyder got a fucking eight billion dollar check. To I don't know. To just <laughs> I'm, shut I'm the just fuck saying. up and take it. I'm just yes. saying. I have look. I've had encounters before where I've been. I was at one time. I, like, I'm not defending the name, and the name's going to change. And I'm. I will cheer whatever they change that name to. It doesn't Why? matter to me. Any like when I was a kid, I didn't even realize it was racist. Like I you never. Don't know I, when you're a kid, I, I never put it together. Reds, right. That's the color. I just thought it was the uh, Redskins. I thought that was just the name I of the team. I didn't know it was a little racist when Pat Summerall would go looked like another Sunday of Cowboys and Indians. Like, yeah. I didn't know that <laughs> as a so, kid. I didn't know. And then when I got older, I'm like, oh, red skins because the color of their skin. Yeah, it's bad. Right. It's not just a nickname. It's the it's calling them the color of their skin. I got it. And I'm like, that stings a little. And then <laughs> they were going to change. I'm like, you know what? I've heard arguments from both sides. I've yep. heard Native Americans say right. there's high schools on Native on reservations where the logo it's is the Redskins. Same. The high school logo for that's a mascot or the just mascot the- is the red, whatever nation Redskins, whatever high school Redskins. Right. That's the name. That's their team mascot's name. So it's, when you see stuff like that, you're kind of like, okay, well, if they're calling themselves right. that, then what? I don't know. <laughs> I've been I've been caught wearing I've been wearing my redskin hat, Eddie, and I've been Defiant. I wear my redskin hat. Defiant. Oh boy! And Jesus. I've gone to I was doing shows up in Alaska one time. There's a Native American population up in yep. Alaska, very large yep. Native population. And a guy comes up to me and he starts pointing. Did you tell me that they gave gave you gifts? They no, he started pointing to, to my feet. hat. Yeah. And I'm walking there. And the first thing I said was like, oh, shit, he's pissed at me wearing this red skin hat. Because now I'm uber, comp, uh, right. uber uh, aware, aware of it. Aware of it, you know. Especially when you're around. Because you're like, yeah. I've done that before. Where like When I was younger, I didn't notice if I was wearing it. But now if I'm around, everybody's like, and that made me think, like, maybe if I'm aware of it, then yeah. there's something wrong with right. it. Right. And then he comes up to me, and I'm like, hey. He points to my hat. I'm like, hey. And he lifts up his sleeve, and he's got the same emblem tattooed on his arm. Right. And he's like, yeah, go Redskins. And I'm like, okay. So like, it's stuff like that that gives me, like, who's offended by it? Sure. Is it is it the majority of the people trying to push something that are offended by it, or are there actually Native Americans who I are true? I think there are Native Americans I, who are offended There are. By it. Yeah. And there are, there are there are some who are not. Right. Um, I think the best thing to do is just the name needs to change and move on. I'm not defending the name. Yes. Could you just get, like, a hat with a W on it? You teach it to the Washington Warriors, right? But, then, yeah, but that's then, even problematic. Because I think some that's problematic, saying, too, because you're still having the, the logo. It's not for the, the Golden State the Warrior. Arrowheads and shit. Like, I think because they were saying like that, because I know some Native American groups saying, well, you're still appropriating our culture if you have like the arrows as a logo. And then and you're, shit also, like that. you're also saying they're, uh, <laughs> they're called, you're calling them warriors, so they're. Right. It's sort of like you're calling them aggressive. and I love but the, the but red that's just But that's by association, though, right? Because. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Golden State Warriors are not associated right. by that. No, but, but they're not native. That's why they don't, they don't have a Native American logo. That's a problem. Yeah, because they don't have the history of yeah. it. Right. Why don't they have the red tails? Red I tails, I've idea. seen that a lot, getting a lot of... I love Red that tails idea. makes sense. That the would red be tails, because you, you can still use that, that cursive R that they use. Yep. You can keep that. Hail to the red tails. You can Hail still keep the... Still, the song doesn't you can, change, the song really. Does, the song doesn't change with the Warriors, either. Hail right. to the Warriors. Right. I mean, you can still do all that, keep the same color scheme. So um, the Indians are also the Cleveland Indians are also considering a name change. Yeah, they too really right need now. to. I mean, the Wahoo yeah. thing is out, but Wahoo's it's still not totally out. No, <laughs> they need to call themselves the Other Browns. That would be the <laughs> best thing. <laughs> well, apparently, I think uh, I was talking to Cody, the guy, Co- not you, Cody, the other Cody. I do a sports yes. show with. He said 
The name they were in the 1800s before they became the Indians was the Blues. That's a great name. The, the Cleveland Cle- Blues. They were the Cleveland Blues. So there, That's a great there could be a call name. to go back to the original name of the team. Why not? That's uh, great. Yeah. I love that idea. The Cleveland Blues. That's fucking genius. So. And now the Braves are next. And yeah, I think I think once once the Redskins go, they're the first. It's one, going. Right? That's yeah. going to be the first domino. And right. Indians are going. I think Braves are going. Blackhawks are probably going. They're done. Um, Here's what I don't like about the chant: the oh, Kansas City. That's probably the going. Are pro- they should. Those, Chiefs. They should no. go back to what they used to be. The we, we wish we were the Dallas Texans. That's what they should call themselves. We wish we were still called they the Dallas won, Texans. They just want a Super Bowl. We wish just we were Bowl. still called. I don't the think Dallas so. Texans. I think they're a better team than your team. <laughs> the in Texans Dallas. won an NFL championship, right? I'm just saying they just won the Super Bowl. I don't think they give a fuck about Dallas. They should. They go don't. Back. They Did don't it. give a shit about the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> the Texans. They stole the name, the color. Anyway. So the Kansas City Texans? Yes. Go back to that. Just the Kansas the City out. Dallas Texans. Confuse the fuck out of everybody. The Kansas City Dallas Texans. What Can you is imagine the press conference? They unveil it. <laughs> they don't tell anybody what they're doing. They're like, we're going to be known as the Kansas City Texans. Just a DT on their fucking helmet. Kansas KCDT. Oh, I, I mean, there's so many things you could call you know, teams and shit. You don't need to do that. Like, right? I don't care. Like, as a Redskins fan, like, I grew up, that's my team. That's the team of my yeah. childhood. That I care about that sport more than any other sport. And I honestly don't care. It wouldn't if they bother you. It doesn't bother me. I'm still going to cheer for them. Right. I'll be excited because we have new jerseys. New shit to buy. New, new shit m- to buy. New merch. The people that fucking hold on new to merch. it then drive me nuts. You can take your old Redskins memorabilia and sell it to the racist booth at Frankenstein. That's they true. Would, they, could, they probably can't wait to get their hands on all That's that. That's true. Imagine the money you'll make. The, just, uh, the, the fucking dough you'll be rolling in. The, the shit that people get upset about. Like it's, People are so yeah, upset. Who gives a fuck about them? It's no big deal. Look, I don't I'm not one to say if something is racist right. or not. If Native Americans find it offensive, then it's then that's then it's, it. Then we, we, it should be they're changed. they are the subject. They're it's the over. Subject. If, if the, change it. If a group of them is like, hey, this really offends us. We are like calling this. us Redskins. I get it. But now back to the to the chant, the seminal chant. Yeah, isn't it just as bad if you had a team that had like a racist Asian slur as a name, and then they all everyone in the crowd did like a da 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 da, da, da right? <laughs> and then like when they were done, they had like a fat white guy. Like dress like a sumo wrestler who would hit a giant gong on the sideline, like like that would be brutal. Yeah. That's why I think the, oh, oh, oh is just as bad. That's so fucking dumb. But I don't. <sighs> but wait, no, here's the thing though: with the Redskins, can't they just change the? They, uh, here's the only way they keep that name: they change the logo to just that fat white guy that we saw outside of uh, Donut Man, who was completely red skinned. <laughs> From being sunburnt, <laughs> right? If they so just, just a sunburnt it, hick, just a sunburnt hick. That's the only. Uh, that's the only way. I think I'll be like, all right, that's fine. That's fine. That works. Sunburnt hick. I'm okay with. <sighs> okay. I mean, at the Cody, would that work for you? Would that be okay? If they change the logo to just a sunburnt hick, and they still called it the Redskins. What would the mascot be though? Just a sunburnt hick. Sunburnt hick. Yeah. Just like a fat. So the sunburnt white hicks. Guy. Just a fat white redneck. A guy taking a selfie and driving a car with his sunglasses on. Sunglasses on, goatee, shitty goatee. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, ah, I'm with does that. every Trumper on Twitter avatar is that guy? You know, that would be fucking incredible. Do you think it changes before this season? I don't know. It has to. I don't know. I'm with Cody. I think it has to. But Snyder's such a prick. It's so hard. But if, in order to get a uniform, an NFL team to change their uniforms, yeah. they have to put it in like two years in advance. Right. It takes a long time to go through all the thing of making the yeah, new but uniform. That, that's without the. The like urgency the, that the nation yeah, is under exactly. right now. Understand, but at the same time, are they? Do you strip? If they change the name to Red Tails or right. Warriors, do you take off? Because the logo itself is just a drawing of a Native American. It's not a character. I think they go to that throwback helmet. That's just the colors. It's no, that like, one. Yeah, I think they just make them wear that all year long. I don't. I mean, the season starts in a month. Yeah, is it? <laughs> it's not. Stra- stop. Training camp starts in a month. There's no fucking way. But I think they would just make them wear the helmets that have the, I don't this, know. the colors. Well, I mean, well, I think we'll know this week. And yeah. Maybe by the time this podcast is out, we'll know. We'll probably know. Um, I, man. I, I, I know it changes definitely next year. I don't know if it's there's time enough to change it now, or do, do you just go Washington Football Club? Why not for this Washington season? Washington FC? Just put a little FC sticker on. Again, it. I just don't is I don't want you don't want to make so many overcorrections where it feels like you're pandering, and then you have the 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 pendulum swing back hard the other side because it just. 
Because no one in this. I'm just lucky that the Cowboys are the Cowboys. Because I know Jerry Jones would not budge. If they were like the Dallas Engines or some horrific shit like well, that, there's no chance Dan Snyder he changes was, it. Some, some oh, steaming over there. Hun. Something's steaming. <laughs> there's fire. Anyway. But Dan Snyder was like that. Two years, three years ago, they right, asked him. He's like, I'm never changing the name. Changing you can use name. caps. Right. But it, the only reason Dan Snyder's moving is because his pocketbook's being affected. That's it. So Jerry Jones would move if Nike pulled. If, if, if Nike, Nike pulled, that's true. That's true. Jones. If would Nike pulled, yeah. and then you start having all your sponsors, and then yep. the naming rights to your stadium pull, Jerry Jones would cow down. Yeah, he better. It's I money. Hope he would. That's the one thing he listens. That's to. true. Fucking evil. But they, yeah, that shit needs to change. Red Tails is my pick. None of this happened until I would love it if it was literally Red Tails. midweek last week. The, I know. All the companies start going. When everyone's like, wait a minute. Yeah. Why is this shit still going on? Yeah. That's, that's why it changed. It's not yep. because he had a change of conscience. No, that's true. He just they started affecting his wallet. But fuck him anyway. I hope he does. That, that name needs a blight. It needs to be changed. All of them. That fucking all the, the Cleveland, all that shit. But I wouldn't mind. Red Tails is cool. Red and Tails is fucking I would, awesome. I would honestly like Warriors and go back to the the old 1960s uniform. But then if you're the Red Tails, then now George Lucas has a tie because he made that movie. That's true. See? But it wasn't you a good movie. You get Lucas there every It wasn't every, a very good movie. It though. wasn't. But you get Lucas there every week talking shit. How great would that and be? That's true. See? That's true. But, I mean, I don't see what's wrong with this. You have old uh, airplane, World War II airplanes. Do fly, fly in? Do flyovers every game. <sighs> Drop off the team. They'll parachute out. How fucking sick would that be? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I, yeah. I would do it. I don't know. A lot of uh, topical discussions. We are getting Red very way. top. Let's start singing, though. Let's get into the other shit. Let's let's talk into uh, uh, our uh, What hat would Whoa, they that's wear? That's really loud. Not anymore. Jeez. I fixed that. Why did I fix that? But boy, did that blow out some speakers, I bet. Um, this is a tough one, man. The Arnold Schwarzenegger movie villains go into the <laughs> Hall of Fame. What villain is on the hat? Dustin Jacobs, the Predator. That's his pick. Yeah. It's a good one. Solid pick. Schwarzenegger, yeah. Todd C. Hey, Jerry, Eddie, Cody. Happy fourth to you all. Hopefully you guys are. Oh, yeah, I hope you all had a safe fourth. Hope you guys have a fun, safe, fun day uh, that you could under these fucking shitty conditions. But at the moment, it seems like that's a new norm. Happy bladed birthday to Naked Cody. Here are my entries for this week's show. The hat, T-1000. That motherfucker was relentless. It's, he was. Yes. He certainly was. Damien Botriel. Hey, Ramblers. Damien in Australia here. After a few weeks of restrictions being eased off, Melbourne has seen a spike in cases with adult and specific sub suburbs being locked back down. My suburb isn't there yet, but the case numbers have been climbing, so I think it's only a matter of time. Stay safe. His hat, the kids from Kindergarten Cop. I've never seen Arnold have a breakdown <laughs> like that when he, he dealt did, with he them. Did, That's they a did great one, Damien. They, they, bro him. they broke him. Danny Mary. Hey, Jerry, Eddie, and Cody. It's definitely been a while since I made my submissions, choosing to listen, but missed some good top tens. To be honest, it's been a rough few weeks up in the old headspace. I was, I can, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Sorry, bud. But I can always count on the ramble to keep me afloat with a never-ending hilarity, writing this as I listen along to Ramble 239. Just also started Rebels after finishing the Clone oh, Wars. You're on which a great is, ride. Dude, it's better. Uh, fave bit would be spoilers when Maul acquires the Black Saber from Pre Vizsla. Wouldn't have watched the series if Eddie wasn't so outspoken about it. Working as an essential worker in the disability sector, behavioral support specialist, the telling of your special needs basketball session has been the funniest shit I've heard in ages, <laughs> especially how you told it. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> I understand that Cody may be a little sour due to Dexter's lifetime contract and his own 10 days. However, I'd like to comfort Cody with the fact that Dexter is contracted to the Ramble Radio Video Radio only, whereas Cody gets additional features on the main Ramble. Hashtag fight on Cody. Hashtag watch Willow. Oh, there you go. Love thank you guys, you. and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. Crush and puss to bring the Ramblers weekly hilarity. <laughs> My submissions as below fearless leaders and Cody. How good this is. Danny Mary Hall of Fame hat. There are so many who are deserving this title. Well, honorable mention to Buzzsaw, Dynamo, and Sub-Zero for Running Man. T-1000 and Predator. But if I had to pick a Schwarzeneggerville on the hat, it would have to be Richter from Total Recall. See you at the potty, Richter. Uh. Oof, man. Cody, have you seen Total Recall? Mm, I don't All think so. All right. Oh, well, man. we got another Shit, one. There we go. Willow hunting. Uh, I sure. Uh, this is from. Hold on one second. I got to add just something here. There we go. All right. This is from uh, Brian Withers. Ramble. I forgot the number. I sure hope the Washington Redskins and Cleveland Indians don't just swap the team names. Eddie, check out the song. If you own the Washington Redskins, you're a cock by Adam and his package. <laughs> Hat, as a mailman, I think Sinbad was Arnold's greatest cinematic antagonist. However, I felt he was a real hero oh. of Jingle all the way, says Brian Withers, a golden rambler. You can How make that, that argument. I could see that. Who you pronounced dead. I did. Sorry. Uh, Prematurely. Zach Dollum. 
The T-1000, honestly, how could it be anyone or anything else? Zach Dollum, dropping knowledge. Darren McGregor, I'm not including the Predator on this. I feel it's too easy. I'm going for Edo Ross as Victor in Red Heat. Ooh, look at look at Darren McGregor going with the fucking yeah. turn. Ben Weiser, hey, all. Um, let's see. Oh, nothing for the hat. He just goes right into open, close, on course. We'll come back to that guy. Thank you, Ben. Patrick Carruthers. All right, Ramblers, let's get rambling. Hope those who celebrated Saturday had an enjoyable and safe Independence Day while the birthday train is rolling with Eddie and Cody. I might as well mention my birthday is, was July 6th. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Patrick Carruthers. Honorable mention to Ivan Reitman and all those responsible for the movie Junior, but the T-1000 goes on the hat. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, uh, mm -hmm. This, I think, is fake. Jesse, hello, my dear. It's Jesse. I've, it's a pleasure to meet you. Please write me back. I have something important to discuss with you in my email. I don't think that's a real person, guys. <laughs> I don't think that's... I think that was a... <laughs> one of those, you know... I guess, I'm going to... I'm going to respond. Yeah, of course. But it won't be right now. Patrick Crothers, right? Real, uh, oh, no, we already just did Patrick. Jesus. See, that, that fucking spam email fucked me. Colin Mags, hey guys, hope you're all well. Cody uh, and Eddie had a fantastic birthday. Sorry, only Hall of Fame this week. Not in the best shape for thinking and compiling, but the Hall of Fame came to me instantly. My submission is a T-1000 for Terminator 2 because he is the only one who came to mind. Should have beaten Arnold's character. It was stronger, more advanced, as well as just as smart. If they hadn't fortunately crashed into a foundry with a truck of liquid nitrogen, he'd have easily won. In fact, he had won, just dumb luck thwarted him. Stack that against Killian from Running Man. Great bad guy character, but he was a game show host without his muscle. He lost early. And though the Predator is awesome, when you look at that one, his armor, the advanced tech, once it was all gone, he was outsmarted and beat by a guy uh, using very primitive weapons and traps and that's without factoring in the law of division returns with who beats predator in the sequels take care everyone ramble out colin mags all right that was t1000 okay. that ain't bad that ain't bad cm graham and Faye. uh hat schwarzenegger villain the ominous pulse of brad fidel's techno soundtrack can be heard bum 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 and the cyberdyne systems logoed ball cap t8000 t800 nope t850 nope squared t1000 nope cubed the lone figure which walks to the podium is none other than the mother savior of humanity sarah connor ah. then the evil commission interjects wait 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 oh come on now graham <laughs> i said this was a schwarzenegger's film hall of fame hat you can't pick sarah connor but from the perspective of skynet the sentient machines with arnold as a terminator the clear enemy of the machines is humanity and the villain sure shit isn't john connor it's his bad arse mother sarah f and connor hell she takes out terminators like Jackie Chan unleashed in a room full of kindergartners. She's willing to sacrifice her own for humanity to save all humanity. And by the end of her character's arc in Judgment Day, she's become as cold, unrelenting, and as focused as the same machine she stalks. You're terminated, fucker. Sarah, no fake Connor. P.S. Now the real question is, who would you want in your corner? Ellen Ripley or Sarah Connor? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. That's, a, I, that's, mm. that's a question for another ramble. That could be a yeah. debate. Wow. Right here. Uh, this is from... Uh, Smoke them on midnight smoke. We have a happy birthday, Cody, but Cody, hey, Cody can't hear it. It's midnight smoke. Just wanted to say happy birthday, huh? brother. Oh. And I'll be hitting the bong for you tonight, man. Oh. Later. Oh, look, Smokey's hitting the bong for you. Game. So he Pretty said, pussy. Midnight oh, Smoke here. said, I happy birthday, and I'll be hitting the bong for you tonight, bro. Smokey's gonna hit the bong. Look at for Midnight you. Smoke wishing Cody a happy birthday. That's Hell nice. yeah. Keenan Vega, Vega. hello, Ramblin'. call up Dex and wish him happy no, birthday. No, see, Cody? Right. Let's get Ramblin'. Arnold's Hall of Fame villain that has to be the Predator with the shout-out to the T-1000, but the Predator's the official movie of the Ramble, so it would be blasphemy to pick another villain, especially when the Predator took out the, pirate, took out the prince of the Ramble, Carl Weathers. <laughs> he did. Um, well, there we go. What a nice little submission. It I was. had to go T-1000. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just because of that amazing visual of him being able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Schwarzenegger being like a third his size <sighs> and beating him, not even going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, kind yeah. of manhandling him. I, I Took w everything out of the guy. I know. Fuck that. He had to go auxiliary power to fucking go get him. I went, I went Predator. Pre it's a great one. I went it's Predator. It's a great one. Because the, the movie's actually named after him. It is named after him. That's right. Cody, did you have a pick in this or no? <laughs> I did. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is it? Because I am such a fan of the pun... Mr. Freeze, baby. Ah! Oh. <laughs> he was a villain. 
<laughs> he was short oh, and a villain. And a villain. That, there you go. Oh, oh, that was the worst. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, there we go. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Awful. I never want to think about that. And here we are. We're at the memorialize. We have, we have the Mach 5 coming up. Mach 5. And now. Open, can close, we? and an encore. <laughs> God damn that harmonica. It's pretty dope. It's the. It's pretty dope. It's all there is. All right, let's do this. Uh, open, close, and encore. This was also tough. Uh, rage against the machine, huh? How about mm. that? Oh, so next ramble. Hold on, y'all. I I just skipped Uh-oh. over the next list. Jesus. Next ramble. A Chevy Chase movie goes into the Hall of Fame. Oh. Which oh. One is it? Okay. Which one is it? Ramble two forty one. Wow. And then open, close, encore. None other than the Wu Tang Clan. Okay. How about that, huh? That's quite the concert. This one, Rage Against the Machine. Let's see what y'all picked. Don't take my word for it. Let's reading rainbow this shit, and let's see what y'all picked. Um, Dustin Jacob says, open with Gorilla Radio, close with Bulls on Parade, encore with Killing in the Name of. Not bad. Nope. I mean, how especially today's climate, Killing in the Name, that's it. That's yeah. That should be on everybody's. Todd C. People of the Sun, Guerrilla Radio, Sleep Now in the Fire, Encore 2, Prophets of Rage, Living on the 110, Killing in the Name with All Members. Wow. He brings that. Fucking Todd C. Was it, he was just going right for it. Damien Botriel, uh, no open no, no open close Encore this week. All right, we'll get to, we'll get to Damien for the uh, reading books and playing video games. Danny Mary. Let's see. Renegades of Funk, they open, they close with Bulls on Parade, they encore with Killing in the Name. That ain't bad. All right, Danny. Danny and Damien, I remember I got to give both of them. Yes, you do. They were on the uh, reading books, playing video games, so I got to go back to them. Uh, Brian Withers, they open, OCE Rage, they kicking in with the Township Rebellion, close strong with Bulls on Parade, encore with Freedom. No top five, Brian Withers, thank you, buddy, for tuning in. Have a great fucking rest of your week, Brian. Zach Dollum, they open a Bulls on Parade, close a Gorilla Radio, encore with Killing in the Name. Darren McGregor, they open with Wake Up, close with Bullet of the Head, close with Killing in the Name. I love it. This is great. Uh, who else? Ben Weiser. Ben Weiser comes in uh, with Sleep Now in the Fire, close a Testify, encore with Bulls on Parade. Nice. I'm loving all these. Patrick Crother, PC, Eddie, he's known as. Uh, Know Your Enemy, Bulls on Parade, and then Guerrilla Radio into Freedom, the double encore that PC gives us. Colin Maggs, he just had the Hall of Fame hat. That's right. And why did I click on it, Eddie? I fucked up. I don't know. I don't know. Graham and Faye, uh, and they have a picture of that uh, white couple from St. Louis who had the gun. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's just got a guitar and she's got a mic. Uh, Faye, they (laughs) uninterrupted double header opener. Gorilla Radio bomb track closes killing in the name. Encore sleep now in the fire. Graham, well, now this is awkward. As I recall, I was rage cock block last episode. It appears that Jerry's latent mutant precognition abilities undercut my protest song OC from last week, stealing all my rage thunder. Fuck you, evil commission. I still won't do what you tell me. <laughs> Raging it is alrighty then. Oh, opens with the turtles happy together. Closes with Bill Withers lovely day. Encores with Hans's Mbop. Double header super sunshine <laughs> bonus encore. Katrina and the waves walk. On sunshine and Leslie Gore, sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere. <laughs> All right, that's it. Fine, that's a good one. And then I'll give you what he picked last week: Gorilla Radio, Bulls on Parade, and Bomb Track. And then, so there we go. All right, nice, nice. <laughs> Let's see, Keenan Vega, our last one. Um, they open with Killing in the Name of, directly into Down Rodeo. My personal favorite is someone picked in Ramble 239. Just picture Zach Della Rocha rolling down Rodeo Boulevard in Beverly Hills with a shotgun as a video plays, showing a minority militia group getting out of his vehicle and people fleeing in every direction. They close with Sleep Now, Into the Fire, Darkness from the Crow soundtrack. Encore. Bruce walks out. Out through the now race curtain with only his guitar and starts playing Born in the USA. Then the curtain drops and Rage and Bruce go into the ghost of Tom Joad. Ooh, I can get into that. That's hot. I'll get into that. Man, fucking A. All right, so there we go. Uh, what did you have, Eddie? I had, we oh, we open with Did gorilla. anyone get yours? No. I don't think Open with Gorilla head. Radio. Oh. Uh, close with Bomb Track. Oh. And then, of course, 
Encore. Encore Killing of the Name. I had them open with Bulls on Parade. Okay. Close with Testify. Ooh, Testify. And then Encore with Killing in the Name. Nice. Cody, your pick. I have them opening with Testify. Oh. Closing with Bulls on Parade. Bano. Yep. Encoring with Killing in the Name. Look at this. We all picked a great show. Yeah. We all I would go see each one of those concerts <laughs> over and over Would you again. get in the mosh pit of those concerts? I would. You would? I'd pit. At this age. At 42. At your yeah, advanced fuck, age. Yeah. I would mosh. Honey, how embarrassed would you be, Andrea? I don't know if she heard me. She doesn't care. Lovey? Schmerlson's how embarrassed Schmerls, How embarrassed would you be if I went? To, <laughs> we went to a Rage Against a Machine concert and I jumped into a mosh pit at 42? How <laughs> Did you see her face? Oh, my. Such disgust. Wow. She just castrated you wow. on the ramble. Wow. Like, I couldn't hold my own. For two minutes. You can't go on like Toad's Wild Ride without getting nauseous. Wow. <laughs> you can't go on Toad's Wild Ride. Wow. Did everybody hear this? Cody, can you hear that? It's, I, are you insulted right could now? You be I'm more beyond. emasculated than you are right I now. I can't go on Toad's Wild Ride. Wow. <laughs> Fuck! She just took your masculinity. Get away, real quick! And speak. threw it out the window. <laughs> just shat on just it. Just shat on it. Wiped her ass with it and threw it in the garbage. There's, there's got to be something with the Toad's Wild Ride. She must have had an affair on Toad's, Toad's Wild Ride. Did Schmerlson leave you me. high and dry on I Toad's Wild Ride? I don't know what Ride. happened, but something happened. Now here's my question: What is it weird that Disneyland took got rid of Splash Mountain before the Redskins changed their name? Does that hurt a little bit? Disney was like, you know what? Even though nobody who comes here even knows what the fuck this is about, we still got to change this. <sighs> they took the they took that before Snyder. Disney mm. before the Cleveland Indians. Disney was like, guys, maybe we don't. Maybe let's just change Splash Mountain. Nah. I mean, come on. I mean, no one knew what the fuck that ride was. Uh, even better up, but to it them. was made in like 1990. I know. It's not even old. I know. Why is everybody mad about that? The skins at least have an excuse. It was like 1933, I think. They came up with the name. When back then, you could just say that on the street. And they were the Boston Braves. They could go back to the Washington Braves. I but suppose. isn't that still a... I don't know. Someone's going to have a problem with something. That's why you go fucking Red Tails. Who's well, somebody will make... Uh, Racists will be mad at that. Let yeah. them get mad. There's you plenty of white people them. that died fighting World War II. my grandfather. <laughs> Where's his football team? My grandfather died fighting the Nazis, and now I am one. <laughs> so why can't you? How does that make me head? feel? Why don't we have the Washington Nazis? My grandpa died fighting the Nazis, and now, goddamn it, all I want to be is a Nazi. <sighs> Fucking losers. All right, let's. I'm reading books. I'm playing video games. Bring your pussy over here. We're reading books and playing games. I just want Cody to hear a little bit. I know. Maybe you should scat your harmonica solo. I might. That's the one where you really let loose. I kill it on that one. You really I let really loose. want to find out what happened on Toad's Wild Ride. Uh, yeah, Come exactly. On, really. Why was that what that she That was picked? just out of nowhere. Cody, do you have any thought? Any, any, any that theories? Was out of did you, Why like, would she go there? Cody, when you guys were dating, did you right. have an experience did on, you Toad's on Toad's Wild Ride? Did you go on Toad's Wild Ride a bunch? What the fuck? Why did she go there? <laughs> yeah, we went a lot. God, ah, I went in. There that's it what it was. Fuck. <laughs> Damien Botriel, I've been reading through 90s Batman lately. Just finished a legacy book where the virus and the contagious story comes back and the mastermind behind the virus is revealed. Also started playing The Witcher this weekend. I've heard Jerry rave about this series, so I thought I'd check it out. Any hints would be greatly appreciated. Fuck yeah, do as many side missions as humanly possible. Upgrade your weapons and armor as often as possible. Trust me. If you're playing Witcher 3, if you're starting Witcher 2 or 3, I didn't play the first one, but I played 2 and 3, and I fucking love them. And... Shit, Damien, I don't want to give you any spoilers, but if you're playing Witcher 3, then if you they have that moment where Geralt has, gets a chance to describe everything he did in Game 2, go ahead and say that you let the enemy of Game 2 live. Trust me, that definitely is it. Because that's, you know, that's how the Witcher ended, Witcher 2. You could either kill the guy who, he was a fellow Witcher who yeah. the Geralt didn't know. He's from another school, like another house. Yeah. He murders a king. Okay. You're not supposed. Witchers aren't supposed to kill people. They're only supposed to kill creatures, like okay. an, monsters. But this guy gets paid, and he says, "Fuck it, you're gonna pay me that much? I'll go kill a fucking shitty rotten king." So he kills a guy, and it brings a bad name to witchers. And uh, you can either fight the guy to the death and kill him, or you literally shake his hand, have a beer, and go your own way. And he, because you kind of get why he did it, and he gives you that option. 
And he's a bad motherfucker. And if you do that in part three, he comes in to help you in this really... Fu- it's awesome. If you, if you let him live in part three during this really fucking chaotic battle... In part two or part three? In part three. If you let him live in part two, then by the time part three rolls around, there's this then really how does, fucking... how do the games talk to each other to know that you let him live in part two? Well, you can either... Uh, the main thing they did was you had... It, so in part... The beginning of part three... Geralt is uh, he's having a bath like by a servant at yeah. this castle and they're just and one guy is interrogating him and the interrogations are all the major moments in part two so the way you answer that explains, oh so it asked you if you let him sort of right let him go. Goes, what about Letho that one witcher we heard that you had a confrontation with him what happened and then you can say I killed him or I let him live right uh, then and then and then that det- and then, uh, every every little moment it's fucking great yeah so you were in for a world of, of beautifulness Damien I'm telling you buddy you're going to love these fucking things. Um, Danny Mary. Uh, let me see. Did he do one? I think he did. I don't remember. God damn it. No. Wait. Maybe. Yes. Read an article about Ryan Reynolds suggesting to Marvel that Deadpool enter the MCU with Deadpool, Deadpool Kills the X-Men Universe. So I dust off my copy of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe to have, to, to have a read. And I'm currently playing Minecraft Dungeons with my 11-year-old. Didn't think I'd get addicted to this game, but here we are. I heard that game is fucking dope, dude. Which game? The Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, Colton's it's, playing it right now. Is he liking it? He loves it? it. He loves it. Fucking then loves it's it. It's good. Yeah. Then there you go. Then he you know it's game. good. Then you know it's good. Do you beat him when he plays for too long? Uh, I only beat him if he doesn't play long enough. Oh. I make him play the game. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. That's how a father should be. Because in this day and age, that's how kids are going to get anywhere by playing Hello. video games. Darren McGregor, not reading anything at the moment, but I've renewed my love for the first-person shooter with Call of Duty Warzone. I believe it was Battlefield on the PS3 that ruined it for me as I couldn't move through steps without getting killed. I like a bit of realism in the game, but that's not why I play them. Warzone is essentially Fortnite for grown-ups, although the voices and comments from some of them when they get killed suggest the opposite. A fun free game, but it's fucking huge at around 123 gigabytes. Jeez. Heavens to Betsy. That's a lot. That's a lot, man. Uh, let's see. Did PC have something? No, PC wasn't reading nothing, man. PC wasn't reading. Or I don't. I think one other person was. I mayhaps. God damn it, guys. I'm sorry. I need to mark all. The, do I need to just print up all the emails and then highlight them, Eddie? Probably. What do you think, Cody? Would be thoughts. Good show prep. Cody, your thoughts. Cody does. He checked out. He thoughts on what? Should see, I just print up all care. the emails and highlight what I need to remember? He's masturbating. Yeah, probably. All right. <laughs> Graham is currently in the process of modding my Super Nintendo MIDI and loading a buttload more ROMs onto the menu with cover art to boot. Oh, that's fucking dope. With any luck, I can narrow it down to a couple of hundred tiles and try to keep up with the retro Roger gaming experience. It begs the question, just how many games does Jerry have in his retro collection? A little over 100 right now. A little over 100. A little over 100, and that's, uh, that's, that's it. For, I'm, it's growing. It'll st- I mean, I'm not going to tell Andrea, but boy, is it growing. Um <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't have to know. Does she have to know that? No. She doesn't have to fucking know. Um, right now, Eddie, you playing anything? You reading I'm anything? I'm not playing or reading anything. Eddie. I'm not. Cody, Checked you out. playing anything or reading anything? I'm afraid not. Cody. So I'm supposed to start reading the Foundation Trilogy that my buddy Scott recommended. And also that book that uh, Colin sent. I still haven't re- I got to finish reading that one. Okay. And... Um, Right now, I am knee deep in The Last of Us Two. Oh my fucking god, Last of Last Us Two! Last of Us Two. I said I didn't really love it, but I liked it. I'm starting to love it now. I think okay. I only, I finished playing before we left to Andrea's parents for Fourth of July. Yeah. I think I only had about another hour to go, but it was three thirty in the morning, and I'm like, "Fuck this! I gotta walk away." But I think I'm only like an maybe an hour, two hours left, and wow, yeah. I mean, look, it's not fun. This is a game. The gameplay is good. It's very well done. This is just a. Fu- it's like a fucking depressing but brilliant movie, and you're just playing through it. And goddamn, it is. I'm not going to spoil anything in case people haven't played it yet. But holy shit, it is. I already got to the point. I think that all the nerds raged out on and hated, and I love it. I love that they did this. Huh. I fucking love it, and it's. It is, and there's a character in the game named Abby who's just kind of a normal looking woman who happens to be really fucking buff. Yeah. And all these guys are like, well, I, I just can't, I don't want to fuck her, so I can't play so stupid. After. Like, there are like, vi- YouTube videos really? of grown men upset 
that she's not quote unquote attractive enough for them. Oh fuck! So off. they're like, man, oh, fuck this. It's just like, oh uh, yeah. What's right. wrong with people? Like, who's fucking what is you? What's wrong with people? Who's fucking this guy? Nobody's that, fucking them. That's why fucking they're complaining. Them. That guy hasn't bathed in so long. He fucking, bought the game solely just to masturbate to, to it. jerk off. This guy, nobody. This guy hasn't bathed in so long. Oh. There's probably mushrooms growing on his fucking fucking fuck skin. Fuck that dude. But anyway, I'm just. Uh, it's fuck. Fuck all these idiots. And there's more than one. There's a lot of them. But well, anyway. I'm sure. That's what I've been playing right now. Of course, still Animal Crossing, still some Predator hunting grounds. Yeah. And uh, just completed Zombie Nation for my retro next Retro Rocha. Ah, That'll nice. be a couple of weeks from now because I still got a few ready to roll. But there we go. Cody, how about you, man? Did we already go to Cody? Yeah, he's not doing Did shit. We? Did Cody, are you reading anything? You playing anything, buddy? No. I'm not. I'm I'm focusing mostly on movies this week, especially you now that you guys have given me an assignment of like four fucking movies I have to and watch. They're all are they all Oscar contenders? It's gonna be the best night of your life. <laughs> best night of your okay. <laughs> two think, nights okay. of your life. Think of your four favorite movies and then multiply how good they are by and, thirty, and, and be prepared Shit. to remove those four favorite movies from the top four. They're list. all gone. And Commando, put these four in. Predator, wow. Cobra, and G.I. Joe, the movie, the animated <laughs> so I have to movie. Take, so I have to take Jaws and like remove it from oh, everything. Oh, God. Oh, but Cobra kills gone. that. Yeah, gone. I mean, it would have helped if like uh, Roy Scheider's name was 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 Chief Jaws Eddie. Like, that's the only <laughs> <laughs> that would have. That may be great. Jaws. Oh, for the shark? No. no. Chief Jaws Eddie. Chief Jaws Eddie. <laughs> Chief Jaws Eddie. <laughs> Cobra <laughs> That's what they went with. The screenwriter went with that. <laughs> and they called it Cobra. Like, he had a Cobra snake on his on the handle of his gun. Yeah, on his white handle Couldn't of his gun. Couldn't that been enough to call him Cobra? He just likes... He could just have the nickname Cobra. Cobra, because of that. Hey, John he Cobra something. He's got a tattoo of a Cobra on his, right. on his Any arm. Any number of things. Not... His name is Cobra. <laughs> Not that his last name is fucking Cobra. But and they and they and they tried to go the Schwarzenegger route with Stallone, <coughs> because yeah. Stallone has that stupid line where he tells the villain, "You're the disease I'm and the I'm cure. the cure." This is where the law stops. Yeah, and, and I, I start. Get, no, you're the disease. <laughs> and I, God, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> How no. did that not win? And, and just the, the the end credit song is going to be your favorite song uh, of all time. How did that not win best? I don't know. I screenplay. Don't know. Can you hear oh, us? No, whatever. We're shouting out Sorry, to best, you. Best song? How's that not an Oscar winning best song? song? It's unreal. It was almost You Got the Touch. It was, got almost, the it was supposed to be You've Got the Touch. Makes a lot more sense. Mm. You can't do it, can you, pig? <laughs> <laughs> Rene Trejo, B Wiser 87, Michael M. Rojas 84, Amy Jean Wise, Jimmy Wright, Leo, Leo 175S, Joe Morell, Joy Morell 15, Doug Fry, a.k.a. Big Bubba Doug, Andy Vandahar, Sci Fi Gamer Historian, Haven Huge Fan, The Real Man Games, Chris Fabinski, Mick Lovin, Inglorious Wildcat, Todd Mellert, Jen Schmidt. Thanks for the games again. Brick 48, Joe Santos, a.k.a. Big Daddy, Taz 34, Steve Harrington Weirdo, Kyle P. Kinzer, Alfred Rico, D.B. Johnson, Daniel Kuhn, The Eric Butts, John Fields Art, Beer the Reaper, Kaiserman Rowe, Alrum, Followers of Shizmu, Scott Prince, Graham Edwards, and Leo Edelman, Rick Braun, Daniel 673, Reed Dixon, Retro Rocket Entertainment, Coppin' with Comic, Elizabeth Flores, Jason Tully, The Real Zelly, Cool Gramps XRP, Eddie Pence Fan Club, Captain Robin Dash Windsor, The Pirate Guys, Daryl Heffelman, David McGinn, Teresa 1025, Christopher Haskell, Hidros Olivos, Jason Peak, and Mac 77, Blinky Blink, Jamie Warner, Get the Unspecial on Netflix, The Ultimate Rabbit, Davis, aka your Grandma's Pussy, Alec Vasquez, Colin Mag, C White 400, Play With It Podcast, Adam Kraz, Darren Butler, Michael S. Miller, Jeff Watts, Jim Key, Taylor Johnson, Rich Morrissey, Nick Payne, Rensel 3. Did we just peak with Davis, a.k.a. your grandma's pussy? I think so. Night moves differently. Ken Rivera, Richard Miller, David Garcia, Jose Gonzalez, Big Daddy Joe 34, Bay TW Podcast, Ray Tolius. Honey, did you just throw something at me? No. Oh, I swear I just felt something hit the back of my shoulder right there. That was weird. Uh. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's you emasculating me about uh, fucking. Right. To, oh, God. Toad's what? See, what, I need it's to what's get, less. Baby, I need to get new headphones for the ramble. <laughs> um, Ray Tolius, uh, Kingsley28, Eric Ben 10, The Real Danny Mary, Scarecrow, a.k.a. James Weaver, An Outlaw Torn, Nick Sharp, Sephora Sean, Nero Romero, Kenny Todd to 2015. Do you think Sephora Sean's okay, buddy? He's dead. Do you think he died? Sephora Sean's dead. Reverend and yeah. <laughs> Raul Sanchez, Van De Beer, Von Huddleston, Michael P. Smith. <laughs> Big COVID? Give big to me seven Gary Priest. Uh, I don't think Tampa he went Ranch out that Ranch. way. Frank Montana. I think somebody killed him. 9, 2, 8, 3, 1, I think Joe Capone killed him. <laughs> Joe Capone killed him. Because <laughs> Joe Capone hasn't talked shit about him. Nope. Ever. Nope. Ever again. Nope. Uh, 
Corey little, Bennett, James. A little suspicious. That's Jeffrey, right. AKJ Back 01, Gil Gaslam, the thicker. If you could do me a favor, Eddie, while I'm reading these names, yeah. could you also just tell the. How do you think it went down? <laughs> the thick white dude, T. Care Pearson. I think Joe Capone. Girl, Podescue Podcast, Interzone Podcast. Got into a. CJ Pendragon. I think he stole a car in Florida because he's in Florida. Six. He's not going to use his own car. No, he's going to use the car. Delicious. Cordelia. Drove. Lucas Guerra, J5. Two and a half straight days. Rob Fernie, Chris O'Shea. Two Southern Wallace, California. Power, Michael Martinez, Wendy Mays. Sat Martin. outside. Ray Ray Sean Williams. Game Sephora. Stop Sephora. Uh, William Hay remembered Sephora. Ryan McNabb. I think he went solely off our descriptions of Sephora, Sean. <laughs> so he killed like eight people. Whatever it took to get to him, he got to him. Cam Sempers, Dave Van Walton, So Chris I Germa, think and literally Bella, anyone who worked in that GameStop <laughs> is 36. probably dead at the hands of Joe Capone. And they're closed now. We'll never know. Chris Chuck Hughes. Which he probably also had a hand in shutting Dale. down that GameStop. <laughs> well, they walked in. There's eight dead bodies. <laughs> Josh Kovac, he then, after K-9, killing Ray everyone Ray in GameStop, Calvary, then Florida. went to GameStop headquarters and threatened the owner of Bradley, GameStop. Bradley, John Eaglefeather, just If he Tenez. doesn't shut down that GameStop, go away, 723. I'm then he will Steven. take out all the GameStops. Nikki G2322, OJ reading 1013, Fred Johnson. Todd C, a.k.a. DJ he Lee. He complied Todd, with Helmet. Joe Capone. Alan Guyhick, Phil and they Sargent, shut down Sean GameStop Williams, Annex. Toy, Scarecrow, two, and we will never hear AKA again Adam K. from Joe Capone or anyone Jimmy or Salgado, Sephora Sean or anyone who works at that GameStop. The sort of goods pod, who Joe Capone Oscar got Vinius. back into his Joe Mo for car, sure. <laughs> drove it back to Florida. <laughs> Sean Smith, Stacey Avelia, CJ K. and Blake, Kyle Cook, a.k.a. The Grind Lit Father. it on fire. Andy Hinsman, Grant Moore, Eric Knight, Justin Brown. Stacey then hitchhiked the rest of the way back to his home. <laughs> Chris Rubble, maybe pay cash for a Greyhound. Chris Bell. I know, because I, I don't think he wants to be traced Phillips, through any AK. sort of facial recognition software. There you go. You're right. It could be at the bus stop. Yep, they are right. The Game Fanatics, Burr Martin, so I think Gary he just Kundle, hitchhiked Council, or Plus, just hiked. Maybe hike. Oh. Ke- Kelly Riddle, KT, Chris Berensmeyer, a.k.a. Go Cats, Chris V, Glamis, Jamie, Storm Raven, Eamon Yaman, Bots Hogs, Grim Shredder, Eddie's Drunk Thoughts, Eddie's Ghost Ham, Robin Maloney. Oh, my God. What would happen if when he turned over Sephora Sean's dead body? Yeah. Right? Like part of Sephora Sean's shirt was torn, yeah. and there's just nothing but New York Giants tattoos everywhere. How bad would he would have felt? Uh huh. Right? Ooh. Joe Mill, wow. Ramar, Chad, Sean, Sean Ryan, Lisa Marilla, Joey Poole, Gemma from the Talking Cods, all the podcast. He probably would have then taken Andy Sephora Bond. Sean's corpse yeah. back to his house in some sort of vein try to effort reanimate to it. reanimate it. <laughs> Chris Ben Waddett with the sun. He may have. He <laughs> Bar, James. Dan Beavers, a.k.a. Trying G-Bar all James. sorts of things to reanimate Sephora Sean. <laughs> Matt Kendall, a.k.a. The Joker, Austin Long, Adrian and Benya, a.k.a. And then Texas maybe he did Sunday reanimate, and maybe now they're living together. They're, they're best buds. And they're best friends. Mark White Slave, Big Timmy 87, John Broccolo, Steve Gosanti, a.k.a. Midnight Smoke, who wished a happy birthday to Cody. Happy. Patrick A. Bonfrisco, Jason Shear, Matt the Rat, Mad Monkey, Severo Bella, Evie Agus, Jason Schroeder, Jeremy Bienvenu, Patrick or Brothers, Tim Dobbs. he skinned <laughs> Sephora Sean. And he's wearing it. And he's now wearing <laughs> Sephora Sean's skin. <laughs> With the tattoo. As a flesh suit. <laughs> Will Wilkins, John Mick the second, Ian Goldsfink, Rico GC, Irish 19. Either Zero. way. Wait, when he skinned him, was he like, goodbye, horses, I'm riding over you, <laughs> goodbye, horses. Either way. <laughs> Sephora Sean is dead. Or fuck me. You want to watch the Giants? I'd watch the Giants. You want to watch the Giants with me? I'd watch the Giants with me. I'd watch the Giants. Bearded Nerd, Mike Driscoll, 3D, Big I'd Daddy, Jimmy V, Ulysses Atkins, Joker Fun. <laughs> Sonic, a.k.a. Mercy, Dollum, Stets, McGregor, my legitimate Scottish cousin, the hollow Dollum, the king of the barbecue sauce. The uh, no, not Dollum, Stets, the king the of the barbecue basket. sauce. Strip back, the Hall of Famer, first ballot, the Davis Dater, Nico Brown, Steph Defects from Poltron, Aaron Bridger from Long Island, Adam Clambert, J.M., J. Mitch, Burge, the Tapia, Nickel the Wise, Gary Rickleman, Grady W. Smith III, the Chris and Cassie Fett, Graham and Faye, Sam Martinez, David A. Gutierrez, Derek, David, Eric, Chavez, Chavez, Becky Sunderling, Brie Pena, and Brian Boo. Stamantes. Or maybe Sephora Sean outmatched Joe Capone oh, no. in the showdown. And now Sephora he's Joe Sean Capone. then assumed Joe oh, Capone's God. identity. Oh, God. And now resides in Florida oh, where Joe Capone was. Oh, Jesus. But what if they go to Joe Capone's house and like, yeah, we're looking for Coach Bill Parcells. Well, he's a big old fat guy. He's a big old fat guy. He's a really big fat guy. He's a real big fat guy, wasn't he? Wasn't he big old fat guy? He's a really, he's big, a really big old fat guy. guy. He's a really big fat guy. <laughs> they call him the tuna. They I call think. him the he's a real big fat guy. The tuna, big fat guy. <laughs> he's a real big old fat guy. He's a real big old fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank is that you. a Jane Gum reference? <laughs> that is. Uh, We're doing all Silence of the Lambs. Oh, the big old fat guy. Big old fat guy. Big old fat guy, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Call the tuna. <laughs> Thank you to all for listening to the ramble, making us part of your lives, your loves, your everything's. Cody, where can all the fine folk find you? Cinesnap Cody on Twitter, and then my other podcast, the Cinesnap Podcast, where we're talking about VOD releases, Ooh. re-MCU, where we're talking about Marvel, episode of Captain America, the Winter Soldier, coming up soon, and then uh, Quarant Stream, where we're talking to comedians about quarantining and what they're watching. Uh, newest episode with Vanessa Gonzalez up now. Eddie and I, vets of corn stream. Yes. Vets. Has yes. Eddie been on the Cinesnob podcast yet, Cody? I have that is the one he has not been why on. Are you not, why did I get the I triple, got the triple crown? crown? I haven't gotten the triple <laughs> crown. Because, because I'm waiting for the unspecial to come out. Ah, and then it's ah, on. Then plug oh, September it. 1, it September 1st. There it is. There it is. September 1st. We'll be on, we'll we'll be on the, the triple, triple crown, crown then. That's what Bam. I want the triple crown. He'll have done it. Eddie working all the time. We should focus? do a group M- re-MCU where me and you both go oh, on. Oh, yes. Which one? I don't know. We should Whatever Cody wants us to do. Cody, I think we should one? both go on and do it. Oh, I, I feel like we should do Avengers Age of Ultron because that's the one oh, that nobody God. likes. We'll that like is, it. We'll we'll I want to see you guys try to defend that. All four Dark World. We could defend that thing. <laughs> the only problem is it's hard to defend Joss Whedon because everyone's coming out of yeah, the a turd. Giant yeah. Yeah. He's a turd. It but is. if I could talk about Dark World for two hours, I can talk about that. You could do this. You could do this. Uh, so five days a week, twice, I twice hear? Twice on Patreon.com, the Ralph Report, and then five days a week uh, on Radio.com, Swings and Misses. Look at you, man. And then we got Radio. F- hey. Ramble Radio. Tuesday, Let's video. Friday. It's okay. All right, Soros. And uh, me, every Monday on my social media, you can watch me as a smug nerd with Eddie Pence. Yeah. Every Thursday on YouTube, please go to my YouTube channel, Jerry A. Rocha, or just Jerry Rocha, I believe, on YouTube, and I got my Retro Rocha, uh, retro gaming vid- yeah, videos. Jesus, please subscribe to all that, everybody. And uh, you can also see me most nights on Twitch during quarantine uh, at twitch.tv forward slash Retro Rocha. <clears throat> so check all that good shit out. Yeah. Thank you all. We love all of you, and yeah. we thank you. Please follow all of us. Subscribe to all of our shit. I think two people have given another five-star rating and a positive text review to iGirl and Pickle Dick and to Taste nice. Like Pennies. And to thank Taste Like you. Pennies. So please keep that coming as well. Thank you all so much. And this is it. It is what a top five, huh? Here it's it is. time oh, of wait. the show where we rank the top five. Perfect. <laughs> Can't even tell. Nah. Can't even tell. Can't and all Cody tell. hears is just me going fa. Uh, 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 which he's is lost. so beautiful stuff. Right? He's confused. He's confused, but it's, it's like worth acapella it. five. It is. It is. This was tough, huh? Let's. Shall we start with uh, reading Rainbow? Don't yeah. take my word for it. Let's hear what the Ramblers have to say. Dustin Jacobs. This was top five birthday songs. Happy birthday to you, the one you can get sued for singing is number five. Number four, happy birthday, Mr. President, the one where Marilyn Monroe has an orgasm on stage while staring at JFK. Birthday Sex by Jer- by Jeremy? Jeremy? I don't know. I've never heard of that one. And then a, two, A Birthday Song for You by Stephen Lynch. Number one, Happy Birthday by Stevie Wonder. Mm. Look at that. Todd C. He goes, uh, number five, Leslie Gore. Oh, my God. I didn't think about this one. Oh it's my, my party and I'll cry if I want. That's a great one. Number five, The Beatles Birthday Song. Number three, Stevie Wonder, happy birthday. Number two, The Birthday Massacre, happy birthday. And then number one, Go Shorty, it's your birthday. birthday. We're going to pop 50 Cent in the club, just a little bit from all the realms of the music world. Thanks again for this weekly distraction from the bullshit in the world to keep me sane while driving around in my big brown truck. You three are the shit, and I love every minute of it. Ramble the fuck on. Todd C., a.k.a. DJ Retod. Todd, you are the shit. You ramble on, my friend. Thank you. Damien Botriel. He goes number five. Oh, wait. Quick mention to Lisa. It's your birthday from that one episode of The Simpsons. Now removed from the record. I'm not saying Michael Jackson did it or not. Oh, it's man. not really my place to say. Had there not been so much controversy around him, it might have cracked the top five. There we go. Number five, 50 Cent in the club. Number four, traditional happy birthday. Number three, Weird Al. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Number two, Stevie Wonder. Happy birthday. Number one, The Beatles. You say it's your birthday. Hope yep. all the Ramblers are staying safe. Looking forward to Goodwillow Hunting, a Ramble, and a <laughs> Cinesnob collaboration. <laughs> Peace out, Damien Botriel. We are looking forward to it, too, buddy. Danny Mary. He goes, birthday sex, Jeremy. It's my party, Leslie Gore. Happy birthday, Weird Al Yankovic. Happy birthday, Stevie Wonder. 50 Cent in the club is his number one. How about that, huh? That's a good one. Danny Mary. It's a good not one. Not fucking around today. No, he's not. Today. He brought he's it. He's taking man. no prisoners like no. Joe Capone did with Sean. Sean. Who's now, 
He's gone, isn't he? He's gone. Fuck. He's gone. It's a real big fat guy. Do you, are you going to miss him? Mm. He's a big old fat guy, wouldn't he? He's a big old fat guy. He's a big old fat guy. Bill Parcells is a big old fat guy. Zach Dollum says, Stevie you want a happy birthday? It's my party, Leslie Gore. The Crest, 16 candles. If it weren't so creepy, it would have made my list. Yeah. But in the Club 50 Cent, and number one, the Beatles. You say it's your birthday. Until next time, Dollum out. It's my birthday, too. Yeah. That should be. That's why I love. Uh, one thing I love about Laredo, Texas, their main TV station, they, every day, every afternoon, at like 2 o'clock, they do a birthday. To people submit their birthdays. Oh, yeah. And they play that like song. Like local, yeah. yeah and cool. they fucking they just show a bunch of birthday people. That's a, and they would jam out. <laughs> Top five songs of birthday. Uh, Patrick Crothers missed the cut. Uriah Heep, the magician's birthday. The Vandals, Bad Birthday Bash. Elvis Costello and Burt Bacharach, Tears at a Birthday Party. Deathlock, Birthday Death, Ray, Death Day. Jezu, Birthday, one of my favorite bands of Project. Godflesh member, Justin Broderick. That is some good, long, 10-minute droning heavy metal shit, Jezu. Yeah. That's good shit. Cramo, Happy Birthday Song. A podcast he's listened to would use this song before Happy Birthday to You became public domain. It's kind of strange, but it's a fun song. Stay safe, Ramblers. Patrick Carruthers. Others, or as Eddie calls him, PC, PC, Colin Mags. I think Colin just did. That's right. He just did the Hall of Fame. We knew that. He can't be bothered. He's busy. Colin can't be bothered. Hey, man. Graham and Faye. <laughs> Graham and Faye. Uh, Weird Al Yankovic, happy birthday. Cool in the, bra- cool in the gang. Celebration. The Crest, 16 candles. In retrospect, this may have been covered by Kiss. Eddie would know he's our resident Boy. Kiss expert. Number two, the Beatles' birthday and the undisputed mother of all birthday songs, Patty and Mildred Hill. Happy birthday to you, Reed Cody, a.k.a. Hey, kid, give me some money or I'll break your freaking leg song. <laughs> oh, that's great. Look at this. He gives a whole story behind it. Uh, thanks for the shout-outs. Not necessary for the surprise package. You guys are sounding a little stressed down there, so we thought you guys could use a little positive karma. That was so fucking awesome. Yeah. That Honey! Come hither right quick. Graham, we fucking love Graham and Faye. We love the fucking gifts. Yes. We fucking love Graham them. and Faye are awesome. The, how great. She's been drinking out of the Canada mug. Uh, and how dope was that fucking honey? It was delicious. I'm literally just digging my finger in. Just, yes. She's that fingering, fucking, she's she's finger, finger banging the honey that honey. Jar. It was so good. Thank you, Graham and Faye. You're the best. The world may look and feel like a bit like a shit sandwich, but you've got just to try to look beyond the news chaff, the internet trolls, and alter that perspective. There's good news to be had out there. It's usually right in front of you, hiding in plain sight. Then he shows this fucking heartbreaking, awesome photo of that female soccer player with a severed arm, oh, yeah. fist bumping a little kid with the severed arm. Aww. Holy shit, that's great. There Can't is wait good for in the, the world. There is. Can't wait for the Ramble Presents Goodwill of Hunting. So stoked. <laughs> Ramble off, Graham and Faye. This is going to be our biggest thinking. product ever. It might be. I think it's going to be. It's going to take the <laughs> fuck off. How could it not? Keenan Vega. I'm only doing three because I don't play by the rules. Weird Al, happy birthday. Altered Images, happy birthday. And I'll have to go with number one, happy birthday by the Beatles. Thanks again to the Ramble crew. Stay safe. Mask up. P.S. I thought I would throw a few movies out there for the Cody list. Sticking with classics, mostly before Cody was did, ha- was hatched by Dex. Mm. Number one, The Thing. Last Starfighter, Beverly Hills Cop. Ooh, uh, last Cody, Starfighter. stop us if you've seen any. If you already seen these, okay? I've seen The Thing and Beverly Hills Cop. Okay, Starfighter. I was about to say, Beverly Hills Cop is one of the all-time greatest yeah. comedies. Uh, last yep. Starfighter, 48 Hours. I've seen 48 okay. Hours, yeah. Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh. I have not Ooh. seen Big Ooh. Trouble That's on the list. Escape from New York. No. Cheech and Chong's next movie. No. Police Academy. Mm, probably not. Oh, Porky's. That's on, that's on the list. Oh, Porky's. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces okay. of Porky's, but not the full thing. Event Horizon. No. Clerks. Yes. Tombstone. Yes. Okay. And two newer under the radar flicks, Turbo Kid in 1984. Thanks again for the whole crew for the podcast and all. Thank all of you. Man, what a great, what great list. Uh, I'll, Cody, do you have five birthday songs? I do. All right. So I'm going to start, then Cody, then Eddie. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. My number five, honorable mention was Stevie Wonder's Happy Birthday. My number five, 50 Cent in the Club. My number five is Kings of Leon Birthday. That's Ooh. my number five. Oh! Ah! Ah! Look at the, the Damn, it's happening. Look at We're that. all matching. Synergy. We're, it's look, all synergy. synergy. A lot of synergy here. My number four comes from the film Sextet with Mae West that Eddie has seen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and you know why I put it up there? Because as bad as that movie is, <laughs> as, we should make that a good, good Willow hunting. That should be on the Good Willow hunting list. We haven't seen that one yet, have you, Sextet? Cody? Sextet? No. May, oh, that's got. That's going to be on. So as bad as that is, oh, God. she gets all the points in the world. 
for covering the horrific Neil Sadaka song, Happy Birthday, Sweet 16. Oh. And she changes it to Happy Birthday, 21. Oh, God. A <laughs> lot less creepy. So that's my number four, oh, Mae so. West's Happy Birthday. Poor Timothy Dalton just had to <laughs> there force his it. way through that movie. Had to just take it. God. Wow. <laughs> Cody, you're number four. He should have won an my Oscar just for that. <laughs> Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> my number four is uh, Steppenwolf. Happy birthday. Ooh. Ooh. My number four is uh, It's My Party and I The Great out. Leslie yeah. Gore. My number three, I go the uh, 16 Candle soundtrack, the great band Altered Images. Happy birthday, happy birthday. If they were me and I was you. Cody, oh, yeah. number three. That's a good one. My number three is The Smiths' Unhappy Birthday. Oh, Ooh. they'll do it. They'll make you unhappy. They'll bring that sadness. My number three is Katy Perry's birthday. Oh. My number two, Weird Al Yankovic. Happy birthday. That's my number ah, two. Eddie, your number two. Uh, Cody, number your number two. My number two is uh, Stevie Wonder. Look at that. So Eddie and Cody matched. And Eddie and I, I match you at two. Match my number five. one, what else could it be? I got to go the Beatles' birthday. Yep. Huh? Is yep. that yours? That's my more number one. Cody and I match yeah, now. Mine's uh, in the club. In the cent. club. Boom, go show it. It's, <laughs> it's your birthday. birthday. Next ramble. Top five. What do we call the Mach 5? The Mach 5. Top five Joel Schumacher movies. Mach 5. What's going to happen if, like, all the Rolling Stones die, too, b- before Marla gets... It's going to be tough. It's gonna be you guys have to watch Phone Booth, though. You both have to promise that. that. We have to push it. I get, well, look, to, to make up for the Marla Gibbs, we'll watch Phone Booth. You'll, you'll watch Phone Booth? To make up with you fucking you over <laughs> for Marla Gibbs. <laughs> well, there we go. What a ramble. We thank you all. Thank you for letting it be ourselves. We appreciate it. You guys have been fantastic. We'll see you next week with a brand new one. Again, uh, Ramble at, at ye old ramble pod. Dot com, there you go. And it is uh, what would the ch- what Chevy Chase goes into the Hall I've been fame. in the movie Hall of Fame. What movie's on his hat? The Wu-Tang Clan throw a concert. What are they going to open, close, and encore with? And top five Jill Schumacher movies, or as we affectionately call it. The Mach 5. The Mach 5. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Cody, by the time this airs, Cody might have already seen Predator or Commando or G.I. Joe the movie. It's exciting to think that. It's exciting to even. He think might have that. already been down that Cobretti Who road. Who knows, Cobretti? I feel like we can't. I mean, Willow has to be like three years down the line. I, if right? this keeps, if this, yeah, I mean, problem. if it's a hit, we I have mean, to keep these, going. If this is a hit, up. we have to keep Last doing. Starfighters on that list now. But we could do Willow and then have it be like for the snobs. Oh, it's called Good Willow Hunting because Cody had never seen. Willow. <laughs> oh no, it has to end with Willow. It has to. That has to be the. <laughs> it has to. Do will it. they fuck or not? Moment yes. from two characters. <laughs> and once they set. fuck. It's over. Will they, won't they? Yeah, once Bruce Willis and What's-Her-Face on Kissed, Moonlighting get together, it was over. it's over. Some rock man night. <laughs> well, all right. Then. Remember, last beep, and we love you, and we'll see you next week. Stay safe. Don't make, out of, don't make a fuck out of any of us. Be good. We love you guys. Take care. Now we're going to play the music once it starts. Remember, last beep, and it's adios. <laughs> What do you think uh, Joe Capone treated Sephora Sean's skin with oh, to keep it from rotting? Only he can tell us. Mm-hmm. Email did us, he Joe let Capone, it at ramble at the ramblepod.com. Did he just say fuck the guy and let it rot? Did he fuck Sephora <laughs> Sean? <laughs> hate fuck him? Did he hate fuck Think this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've never been this. You've been dead before. Have you never been this you've dead? Never have been you? this dead. You piece of shit. Joe Capone. <laughs> you really think he's gone, huh? I think Sephora Should Sean I try to find out? Do you have connections still? I might. Find out. Find out. Because it's probably just like, no, we know we won't hear from that guy anymore. What was his real name? We don't know. I forgot. What was his name? We said it a couple times. Was it Sean? Fuck no. 